All right, we just finished Kimichi Midland Fantasy Season 1. We're getting right into Season 2. I know there's about four episodes. Don't worry, we're going to get caught up. And then we're going to start, probably... So I'm a spider, so what? Let's begin today's reaction. Hello, Makoto. Unlucky here? This dude's pretty fucking lucky, in my opinion. Many moons? How many... How... How do you, how do you, what, what's a, what's a moon? What's, what's a unit of measurements for time of moon? There's a huge time skips in season one? Or are they just saying since like the episode one of season one and, and basically like season one was the moon? You motherfuckers literally trolled me last time too when we were talking about a unit of measurement in terms of plane. It's like, how big is a dummy plane? It's like, it's as big as a plane. I'm like, that doesn't help me! But Moon is basically okay, it's just one month cycle, okay? Rothgard Academy. Open a new store? I thought we we're going there to like study and shit. Okay. I'm gonna open up a store too at the same time. <laughs> They're probably thinking. <laughs> Are we that ugly? Are we really that ugly? Well, maybe compared to Shiki, but maybe we do look a lot ugly. I wonder if the goddess can listen to her thoughts if you just call her a shitty Megami. The season 2 animation, it looks a lot more brighter. Not much difference in animation, but it is very bright. There's been like two years since season 1, it's a different studio. They look pretty identical for the different studio, huh? Oh, they're all dead. Dude, Komoe literally just got spawned after, you know, the previous little fragment that are you killing me? Komoe is now dead. Meals cooking's that bad. <laughs> Who's worse at cooking? Shion or Mio? You know, Shion from a uh, uh, reincarnate as a slime. Who's worse at cooking, man? <laughs> Mio's worse? Shion? <laughs> What is that? Ew. That looks like a curry rice that's like seven months old. The only surprise they're getting is an early death. She pretty just put a mineral ore in there. You bite instead, your teeth are gone. Yes, of course it is. Komoe is already ascending to the heavens, dude. Oh, it's soft emerald. She mistook a fucking pepper and asparagus for this mineral. Ugh. Why is the pot handle there? She can eat anything, it's fine. What the fuck? She just ate that though. It's probably okay for her. Did you listen to that? Look at the sound listen to the sound effect when she takes a bite here. What kind of bite is that? No, she's busy eating the books. Just toast the bread. Emma's actually dead. <laughs> Look at Emma too. <laughs> Can you make toast? No, it's gonna get burnt immediately and it's gone. Tune it down a little bit. Blue meat? Is it good? It looks all jelly like. Come on, man. You're already so fucking ugly. Show some respect when eating my food here. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Relax. It's slime meat. It's just straight up slime meat. Rip remover. All right. We're going to have to farm some slimes this episode. But how come Makoto isn't wearing his mask right now? The fuck? What are you looking at? What does that look? They wanna fight? Oh, that's probably a lot, right? How much dishes would cost that one gold for like the slime food? Probably a lot. Bro is balling out, it's fine. T keep the change. I'm on a small change. Keep the gold coin, don't worry about it. We're balling, dude. It's not even that ugly! Straight up! You are way uglier, Mr. Mustachio. Dude, you with the fucking half-assed pompadour. You think you're good looking? Fuck these two in the beginning. They're, they're not even good looking. They're all fucking sevens. Making fun of a 6.5 out of 10, dude. Fuck this bullshit. Who is this guy with this shitty-ass haircut here? Fuck you too. 
So I guess we're just gonna embrace the ugly face. Yeah. Oh, before Umi just didn't hide her aura either. We should just fucking let the Demon Lord aura out, dude. Fuck it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they'll never go up. Because again, the, the, the main theory is that we didn't receive the goddess's power, but all our powers is from the god, so it's like a different system entirely. We can't level up. Damn, slime is B rank hunting? Is it that dangerous? Moon over the ruined castle? Sounds like a mission for us. We can, we can. It's time to be stylish bandit slayer, guys. We don't need them. We have a man that destroyed the human and demon armies instantly. Right over here. Fuck the goddess. How come nobody worships the god here? Everybody knows the goddess, but no one mentions god. Huh? And that the whole leveling system is also based on the goddess's powers. What? The, I never really understood the difference between the goddess and god. God, I thought they were both just kind of presiding over this world, and I want to read some of your comments, but um, it might be spoilers, so I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore that. No, but these people are the products of the goddess, the shitty, beautiful, stupid people. This is why she's so cruel to humans. The goddess is cruel to humans, on average? Interesting. We don't really know how the goddess kind of treats the human so far in season one, right? Because all we know is that she loves things of vanity, beautiful people. And I also assume that maybe beautiful people are even more stupider because these things are very superficial, right? But the goddess herself just treats humans like shit on top of that? Okay. I thought she would be nice to humans. Let us help you. No, make me, bitch. Oh, Dark Alley, wait! Might fight people, yeah! Dark Alley means fight! Wait, wait! Oh, <gasps> no! A cat girl's getting attacked! <laughs> wait, they're already done. He who lurks in the shadows has shown up. Oh my god, he's so ugly! And you're done. Get the fuck out of my face. Wait. No, don't off-screen them. Show me. <sighs> it is what it is. Healing Kai. Not really, but... Uh, yes. I may be ugly, but I'm a human. Are we ever gonna see this guy again? He's in like, he's like sleeping apparently, right? Because he gave us all his powers or some shit. So he's like, all right, I'm gonna go nap now for like a couple centuries or some shit. Goodbye. Is he ever coming back? I'd like for him to come back. Lana. Oh, sorry, Warwolf. It's a little furry Shota. It's a little fanboy werewolf. That was, he said that it was a song, but Barkley, the strongest fighter. Oh, he's dead! And his wife! Jesus, who are we fighting? If we help them, what's gonna happen, I wonder? Do we get, like, ownership over Tapa Village if we help them out and, like, save them? I don't know. Can we open up a shop there? <laughs> what's gonna happen? I don't know, they're friendly towards us. Killed people? Bro, you like committed like, genocide against the demons and humans pretty much in like the finale. What are you talking about? And still no like uh what's the word? Guilt or anything. Right? This was very good though. I love the revenge, but I guess he doesn't have any guilt or any of the feeling, oh shit, I killed something. Yeah, no remorse at all. They're just monkeys to him. Oh my god. That was so good though. That was so good though. He just thought I'd accept it. It was a common occurrence in this Isekai. Alright, it's just the way it is. Alright, fuck it. We don't have to go through this whole, you know, mental crisis. Oh my god, I killed someone before. Fuck it, we ball. Don't worry, we can probably just jump or some shit. Are we flying? Just jumping? Koenji could do this too, guys. 
Yes, we are a humble merchant that can jump across the forests. This is out in the boonies, huh? It is out in the way in the boonies. No wonder we're getting raided by bandits. The people of the village maybe looks down on him? Okay. But not all of them. Will they invite a human that looks like a demi-human? <laughs> Fence a smell? No, it's just Kai. Oh, that's a bandit group. Sorry, that, that is the bandit name. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Can he though? He's kind of weak, right? Bandits. No, don't worry about it. You should be worried about the bandits. Why is he doing this? What reason does he have? He just said that the moon over the ruined castle is like a song from Earth or something, right? I just like the song, so I'm gonna help you out. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Merchant. Also true, the bandit group assuming that name, it's kind of annoying. That's that kind of makes sense. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, that's decent enough. He's probably thinking, what the fuck is this guy? Oh, oh? Plus one job? Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to offer a position. <laughs> never mind. No job for you. Uh oh, what's Mio cooking? Oh, <laughs> everybody's dying here, dude. <laughs> the strongest orc and the lizard. Both the alkies are done, and I think this is our spy. Yep. Agarus, the strongest orc. Liddy, strongest lizard man, dead. Alki, dead. Edis is still holding up a quirky pose, though. Yo, there's festering flies around this. Salted chicken skewers. That sounds pretty good. What's that banana? Salted chick Salted chicken skewers sounds pretty good. An orcish I don't know what the fuck that is. Mystery green soup. It honestly doesn't look that bad. Monster meat piccata. The bananas being here is kind of sus. This is a very weird dish. Doesn't look bad. Huh? The fuck? Why did you get this from the wasteland? You thought they'd be a normal ingredient? So she brought us monster leaves. We're eating living monsters that's cutting us up. What kind of meat is it? Not even the orc can eat it. And they're dead. They're literally all dead. The strongest warriors, forest ogres, orc, Liddy, they all dead. It's diamond hard, the fork broke! Lubrication? Ayo? Ayo? Yeah, the bananas were there too. Edis really likes the bananas. This guy's still treating <laughs> This is the second fucking crave, dude. <laughs> no, bananas with meat like that, it's weird. Uh, Jesus. Please stop letting her cook. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Banana! <laughs> Banana! <laughs> The forest ogres has been reduced to just these idiots that love bananas. I love this. You'll travel the world to gain- So Mio is now being sent on a fucking little training arc of just learning how to cook? Just like how Tomoe was sent on her little samurai training before? <laughs> Bye Mio! No, maybe she likes it. This is kind of interesting because obviously we're focusing on a story of the academy arc that Shiki and um, Makoto is in. So every every once in a while we'll have to kind of pan back to you know Tomo and Mio, what's everyone doing the demi plane. So I guess if we're just basically trying to find excuses like all right, what are gonna what are they gonna do while we're at the academy? Weren't they gonna technically join us though? Didn't they say in the finale that they're gonna join us and kind of smurf in the academy together? <laughs> Alright, they're so happy that she's going away. 
Makoto said they stay here? Okay, okay. Alright, here's the bandits. By the way, what happened to her fingers? Are they healed? Did we ever heal the fingers up? I just realized. Remember the fingers that we lost in season one? Was there ever a healing moment that we can regrow limbs? We can just do that? Okay, alright. Fingers are back. Alright, the mask is out. That's a big ass Kai. Everything is silenced. Oh, you can't even hear the fire sounds anymore. This is actually terrifying. This is actually terrifying. Imagine you're just all chilling, then all noise is just gone, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? They're all deaf, and everybody just starts dying one by one. You don't even know where the arrows are coming from. That's actually terrifying. Imagine, no, on top of like the deafness, like he could like do like blinding guy. Why can't we do blinding guy? Surely we can just cut everyone's vision of blinding guy, right? Fuck it. So get king. CGI arrow, I saw that. <laughs> I mean, obviously you can't get through us. Like, we didn't even use Kai there, did we? No, the knife just got off the... It just bounced off him because of the new armor that we got. I think he's just talking about the new armor, right? Look at this. It just doink. Yeah, Elder Door of the new equipment. Okay, okay. Maybe it's the same jacket. Oh, breed. Yeah. Work up. We got like machine gun breed too. That was really cool. Jesus Christ. Why is the sound back now? Does that matter? I wonder if this is actually important here. The sound is back implying that when he uses the fire flame, you know, this flame arrows, his like silencing Kai cannot exist at the same time. I wonder if this is important. Maybe it's not. It's not gonna miss! Fuga open. <laughs> it always does look like the Skuna, you know, Fuga, you know? <laughs> Maybe he let the, uh, he let everybody hear it because there's a hype soundtrack playing right now. Rename your bandit. No way he just says that. He let everyone live here, right? What if he just says, rename your group. I don't like the fact that you have my favorite song as your fucking group name. Also, leave these people alone. <laughs> Maybe this is called the sun over the ruined castle instead, man. <laughs> You better listen, bitch! Is, is that it? Wait, 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 wait. That's his only request? Wait. That's his only request? Did, did, did you not like... What about the, the village? What if, what if he just... What if they're like, yes, sir? We'll just call ourselves the son of the ruined castle. Makuta goes away. The bandits continue to attack the village. What about the protection? Alright, whatever, whatever. Sure, sure. He did just want them to rebrand, technically, but really? You're not gonna mention it? <laughs> That's right, the merchant did it. No! The goddess did not do this! Well... We did get summoned by the goddess. That did happen. So, even if she is a piece of shit, and even if she didn't listen to the prayers, technically, because the goddess summoned us here, and because we saved them. Ugh, I don't like this. I don't, I don't fucking like this, dude. Fuck the goddess, dude. <laughs> what kind of inn did you get, though? Isn't that a lot? Three gold per night? Holy shit. I mean, he did take it personally that, you know, the inns that he got before were not good enough. So we're just balling? Oh, we do have a lot of money, though. It doesn't really matter. I want to see this in. What is it? Ugh, even the voice, like, you can tell that the voice is hot, but it's like annoying and bitchy, you know? Yes, the first and second disciples. When are we going to run into them? Third episode, fourth episode? Oh! Maybe the next episodes, straight up, we're no longer gonna view the story from Makoto because people have been coming into my reaction videos in season one and complaining, bro, season two is so bad. We're just focusing on everyone but Makoto right now. So based off of that, they basically indirectly spoil me. Next couple episodes is gonna be perspective of the disciples, which I'm honestly down for. All right. Where are they? Maybe they're closer than we know. Is that it?
All right, that's the first episode of season two. We're getting right back into it right after the events of basically decimating both the humans and the demon. We're going to the academy to do what? I thought the whole point was to learn, you know, more than basic magic because we've been defeating everybody by using the most basic spells there is. And I thought the whole point of the academy arc is to learn advanced shit, but he's like, huh, I want to open up a shop. All right. And then the rest of the episode was a little bit of back and forth to Mio and Tomoe doing the whole cooking, you know, running gag. Mio has now been sent across the world to get better cooking so that she starts, you know, killing people. And then basically just saving these people from the bandits. I guess that's it. I, I, I thought that we might have a little bit more connection to the village. But okay, we just save them and we leave. Maybe there's some future importance for these characters in the future. And then now we're about to go to the end, but I think we're about to pivot now, right? We're going to pivot and go into the perspective of um, the two disciples that were summoned by the goddess. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of characters they really are. And I swear to God, didn't the silver haired guy have a red and a blue eye before? Maybe I'm crazy, but that's it for me. But hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time. Take care.